So the second is Dave Kevin Bowden, not Yes. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Labour have made a big song and dance about tackling rogue landlords. No doubt they would have been made aware of revelations this morning about the member for Ilford South reported in the Londoner. That he is not only letting out mouldy homes with infestation, but he is also the landlord of an unsafe private care home where children have gone missing and been left at risk of criminal exploitation. Do they have plans to tackle the rogue landlord on their own benches? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm grateful to the White Honourable Lady for her question. As I understand from the as I understand from the statement from the Honourable Gentleman, he says there's been no conflict of interest and all of those interests have been declared in line with his council's rules. Can I just say I presume you did let the member know that you were raising him on the on the floor of the house? No, no I did not. Can I say to all members you cannot do that without giving notice to a member? Second question. I'm presuming it'll be different. Thank you. I apologise. I will check with my office. I cannot say for certain uh, that they did let him go. Um, does the Right Honourable Lady agree that reducing the capacity of councils by 20% by allowing workers an additional paid day off every week, which is what a four-day week actually is, is unacceptable and does not provide good value for money to taxpayers or residents? Mr. State. Well, Mr Speaker, I'm really proud of our Employment's Right Bill and I'm really proud to stand here as someone who says and advocates for flexible working. We don't dictate to councils how they run their services. We, we work with councils and I think the Honourable Lady should be able to work out that flexible working is no threat to business, no threat to the economy. In fact, it will boost productivity. Yeah.